Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. Right now, we're in the state of Texas. We're in the city of Houston. We're going to be doing a driving tour of the Greater Greens Point neighborhood. We're in the Greater Greens Point area right now. We're right next to La Petite Academy, next to some tall buildings on Benmar Drive. I am going to take you guys about eight minutes away from here. We're gonna to try to head towards a residential area. This seems like it could be some sort of corporate area right now where we're at. We were next to a shopping strip, a Bank of America, a McDonald's, a cinema and all that stuff. But we wanna to try to explore some of the residential um, blocks. So we're eight minutes away from that. So please bear with me. The weather's like 40 degrees right now. We got relatively clear skies. We're now at North Sam Houston E Parkway, 200 block. So this neighborhood is in the north side of Houston. All right, we're making a right-hand turn. We're gonna be making a left coming up the block. So I'm gonna start merging to the left lane. We're approaching Greens Point Drive. We got an Exxon gas station on my right hand side. I'm gonna merge to the right lane because I believe one lane is for U-turns and this lane is for left turn. So we're gonna turn left. Gas is going for $2.83 per gallon, regular gasoline. We got a Chevron gas station across the street, which has gas for $2.99 per gallon. We're gonna make this left-hand turn on Greens Point. So it looks like we're under the highway right now. We're passing North Sam Houston East Parkway, the 100 block. On my right-hand side, we got a building that says Sano. Is it Sano or Sand? I think it's Sand. It's closed down. We got the local 455 on our left, a voice for Working America. We're approaching North Point Drive. We got North Park Apartments on my right hand side. If you take a look at the street, the street has some brickwork. And we're gonna cross over. Take a look at the structure directly above us. We're about to pass the structure. You see these leaning uh, poles, leaning tubes, and then you got a bunch of metal work, some wires, some metal cables holding this up. Look right above us. Look, I'm gonna try to drive slowly under here. You see it? See that structure? Uh, it looks like we're next to a what could possibly be an industrial slash commercial district. I see a lot of warehouses. Gauls warehouse on our right. Vistar warehouse on our left. Signs that read road work ahead. We're at Esplanade Boulevard. Esplanade. E S P L A N A D E. I don't know how to pronounce that. Esplanade, like lemonade. I don't know if you say it with an accent. <coughs> All right, right now we're approaching Aldine Bender Road. We got a Chevron gas station on my left-hand side, $2.89 per gallon. We have an auto zone directly in front of us. A pretty large auto zone. We're at Aldine, Bender Road, and Greens Point. We're five minutes away from our desired destination. We got 525 Plaza on my right. I'm gonna make a right. I'm just gonna wait until this car passes. And then we're good to go. We got a whole bunch of businesses on my left. Like Domino's. Boost Mobile, Owl Cellular, Joe's Garage, and so much more. I want to start to merge to the left lane because we got to make a left coming up. We 
got YOLOs, Ellas, with an X. I don't know exactly what that was supposed to say. Botanera tradis, tradicional, a traditional, a botanera. What is a botanera? I know what a botanica is. Botanera. What? Botanero. What is a botanero? I don't know what that is. You know what a botanero is? Uh, we don't know what a botanero is. Some Spanish business. We got a Holiday Inn on our right. Let's make this left hand turn on Airline Drive. 12,000 block of Airline Drive. We have a Shell gas station on my right hand side. $2.85 per gallon. We got what looks to be like some sort of housing over here on my left hand side. I'm gonna start merging to the left lane because we're gonna have to make a left at the corner. We got a little taqueria spot on my right for tacos, a little taco lunch truck, and a flat fix. We got a muffler business on our left, Pronto Muffler Center. Passing Buckboard Drive. We got Easy Pawn on our left hand side, a pawn shop. Store it all. La Michoacana or La Michoacana. Some type of Spanish restaurant. We got a body shop on my right hand side. A washeria on our left hand side. As you notice, there's a lot of Hispanic businesses. Like we got the B the Birales, Chewy Sports Bar on my right. Birales. What does that mean? Billards? Yeah, it's a pool, um, I guess a sports bar. And there's a taqueria lunch truck. Let's make this left hand turn on Goodson. We're next to the number one airline food store on my right hand side. Gas is $2.99 per gallon. We're gonna make this left hand turn where it says Casa Verde, apartment homes, North One Goodson Drive. So we're gonna merge left, make this left hand turn. All right, we're about three minutes from our desired destination. On our left and on our right hand side, it looks like we have apartment living. Yeah. Building two, building three, and so on. Building 13, Casa Verde. Now leasing, the leasing center. You can check them out in case you got any place to live. Looks like the leasing center's on the right. It's a very, very colorful complex. Lime green, bricks. Check it out on my right hand side, on my left hand side. Looks like they're doing like a little uh, flea market, a little, what's that called, like a yard sale? You see how they got a bunch of clothes out here? Let me slow down for these bumps and these potholes. <clears throat> We're passing Chipman Lane, Good Center Chipman. That's the Green Ridge Townhouse HOA on my right-hand side, which means that's probably a homeowners association. You got the Magnolia Cove apartment homes on my left-hand side. So you got several apartment complexes down here. Now, I don't know if these are a private entity or if they're the cities, like, you know, public housing. This is all apartment on our left and apartments on our right. But the style changed from the first set of apartments that we saw. This might be a private entity. All right, we're at Imperial Valley Drive. You got an uh, interesting statue on my left-hand side. You see on top of the bricks, you see? On the far left side of the screen. It looks like a pot, some sort of a pot. It says GRN, green. I guess that's what the GRN stands for. Oh, right here in front of us too. On my left, as we're turning, you see there's another one. All right, so we're two minutes away from our desired destination, but it looks like we're in an area with blocks. That's what I wanted to get to. I wanted to get to an area with blocks so we can just explore. So we're at Imperial Valley and La Fonda Drive. Let's make this left-hand turn on La Fonda Drive. That car just flew by us like a bat out of hell. Go ahead, sir. You're more than welcome to go, buddy. Right, so we're in a residential area, guys. We got several pickup trucks parked on my right hand side. You got driveways, we got lawns, we got one story homes. I see garages, I see sidewalks with a green space after the sidewalk. I see mailboxes, street side mailboxes, apex roofs. 
seems to be like so far one story town home area they got their own driveways i see them having two garages some of them have one to two garages yeah two garages on most of them relatively nice size garages we're traveling 11 miles an hour i'm gonna slow it down even more this is the greater greens point neighborhood in houston texas I see a few cars parked on the street side. Most of them are on their private property. So we're on the southern portion of Greater Greens Point next to Greens Landing. The northern portion was next to Greens Point Mall. That's the area that I said looked a little bit more like, um, it looked like a downtown area in itself. There was a lot of tall buildings. Let's make this right hand turn. We're now on Old Creek Road. So from here on out, it's just about exploring. So let's make this left of La Fonda, the 300 block of La Fonda Drive. Oh, we got a squirrel here. I can give him some dog food. See if I can throw a piece of dog food out. Ah, uh, the squirrel bounced. The squirrel wasn't having it. Matter of fact, pass it, because he right there. Throw a piece of dog food. What's up, squirrel? I just threw some food out there for him. Hopefully he's able to jump down, find it, eat it. All right, we're at La Fonda and La Jolia, or La Jola Lane. No outlet to our left. So we probably wanna go, we can go straight or we can go right. If we go straight, it's gonna take us to another no outlet. If we go right, it's, it's, it's gonna take us away. So that's good. Let's go left. Let's, let's check out some of these no outlets. These no outlets are part of the neighborhood. So let's see what it looks like. There's a no outlet. Hopefully there's a roundabout, you know, a little circle exit that we can take. It's always interesting seeing these little no outlets. Oh, there's a dog right there. Wow, there's a dog right under that pickup truck. See that blue nose pit on my right? Wow. That's nice, though. It must be at home because it's peaceful just sitting there. All right, we're back at La Fonda Drive. On my left is a no outlet, but we're going to go through it. The only way we can take to exit this area is in front of us, but we're going to come back around here. Want to see what this looks like over here? All right, so we got another no outlet on our left, and in front of us, I see the one on our left doesn't have nothing but bushes, so there's no point of going left because this is a straight dead end. We can go straight and we'll come around the roundabout so that you guys can at least check out this little quadrant right here. No parking tollway zone. So I guess they don't want you parking in the middle of the street blocking it. We got a young woman and it looks like her husband over here on my right hand side. There's another dog, a wolf dog on my left. Wow, beautiful. Looks like a husky. <clears throat> so now we're gonna head to that street where we can exit this little area right here. There's gonna be a lot of that in this neighborhood. But when I'm looking at on the map, there's a lot of no outlets. So be prepared. Be forewarned. on La Jolla, La Jolla Lane, the 15,300 block of La Jolla Lane. We got some sofas over here on my left. It might be trash there. Look at those tall trees right here on my left surrounding that property. All right, let's make this left-hand turn. I think this left-hand turn is going to take us around the block and it's gonna bring us back to this block. Check out them tall palm trees right there in front of us. 
We got some four to five mailboxes on our left. I see some street light poles. I wonder how dark it gets out here at nighttime. We got a woman getting out of her vehicle right here on my right hand side. As you can see, she's dressed appropriately. It's a little chilly today. Got some beds on my right. Ah, we had a cool mailbox on my left. It was of a tractor trailer. That's decent. <clears throat> Let's make this right hand turn. Right now we're on Dogwood Tree Street. Dogwood Tree Street. Got a nice amount of trees. Not too much, not too little. The houses, I would estimate, they are separated about eight feet from each other with a small alley in between them. This one on my right looked like it had more side space. We got the Daytona 392 Charger on my left. All right, we're back at La Jolla Lane. On our left is a no outlet. So we're gonna go left just so I can show you guys this area before we come back to this block and then go straight around, cut up trees. Right? Got some sofas on my left, some trash. It looks clean though, the area looks clean. The only trash that you see is like what people put out, like trash bags. <clears throat> All right, we got a little industrial no outlet right here. How do you guys feel about living next to something like this? Would you like to live next to something like this? It's somewhat of an eyesore, in my opinion. It's like you gotta wake up every day and you gotta see like bulldozers and you gotta see like construction equipment right next to your home. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Oh, there's a black cat over here. That's cool. Notice the streets aren't asphalt. The streets appear to be cement, like gravel, and then they cemented it. <clears throat> Not asphalt though. Let's make this left hand turn. This is the area where I said the trees were trimmed or cut up. You see right here? This is Dogwood Tree Street. See on my left, see all of them trees, how they trimmed the tops. Almost looks surreal, the way they're almost equally trimmed. We're approaching Old Creek Road. Um, I can go straight or I can make a left. It's gonna take us around. I don't think it's gonna take us back here because if you look at the map, it's like different uh, veins that take you to different segments of the neighborhood. So this might be a point of no return. <laughs> Right, we're at San Fernando Drive and Old Creek Road. So if we go straight, yeah, it's definitely gonna take us to. So let's go right because what's gonna happen is if we follow these different veins or tree uh, limbs, as we can say on the map, if you look at the map, it looks like a bunch of tree limbs. You know how they separate from each other. It's gonna take us to different portions of the community. And if we would've went down there, we wouldn't have been able to see this part. Or vice versa, by seeing this part, we're not able to see the West Road part that's down there. Let's make this left on Kaler, or Kaler, K-A-L-E-R, San Fernando and Kaler. <laughs> now this is a no outlet, so we're gonna be able to come right back. Actually, it's a, it's a U. So we're gonna come right back, but on the next block. See Texas flags. <clears throat> so far, from what I've seen, Texas has had the most stately spirit. If that makes any sense. I don't think it makes sense, stately. 
kind of like a, you know how when you have patriotic spirit, you have the American flag, you know, everywhere proudly. There's been dozens, dozens of homes I've seen. Um, we're we're going to go around this roundabout, but then go right. There's been dozens and dozens of homes I've seen that proudly display the Texas flag, which is the Lone Star. Yeah, a bunch of them. And even like in their gates, like they'll get like their steel gates done for the front of their house and they'll have the star implemented on the gate. Look at this ice cream truck on my left, yo. Or it's an ice cream van. Yeah, that's an ice cream van, guys. It was a private ice cream van. I guess for this neighborhood. Oh, there's another ice cream van over here. There's like two or three ice cream vans. Oh, there's a dog on my right. Gorgeous dog laying on the lawn with no leash, no, no collar or nothing. So, I don't know, I question that. Like, is that their dog or is that just a stray dog that just decided to park up right there because he, he got tired? We saw a stray dog this morning. I tried to give him some food. He came close to, to, to me. Like, he, like, you know what I mean? Smelled, but when I tried to feed him, he ran. And I put the food on the ground when I left. I was figuring if, you know, if he decides to come back, he can eat. I wear wheel place wheel place is uh, no outlet so be prepared to make a u-turn san fernando drive and wheel place wheel as in w e i l unless that's well place thing is with some of these street names is like you want to know how to say them unless some you know you google up the pronunciation how to pronounce it or unless somebody tells you from the area See, this little no outlet is better because it doesn't have that industrial nonsense next to it. It has houses next to it, so I can live in this little corner right here. Yeah, I could definitely live in a little corner like this. Not bad. There's a Walmart shopping cart on my right hand side. Wow. Somebody had a Walmart shopping cart on their lawn. Now, the next question is. How close is a Walmart from here? <laughs> like, how did they get that all the way down here? Did they walk it down here? Did they put it in their pickup truck? All right, we just left a uh, wheel place. 15,100 block of wheel. Yeah, solar panels on the roof on my right. Solar panels. I don't know if y'all can see them. I seen a lot of solar technology down here, too. We're back at Dogwood Tree, the 15,100 block of Dogwood Tree. Now I can make a right, which is gonna take us back to Jola Lane and Oak Creek Road. Or I can make a left. Or I can make a right and then make a quick left. So many choices. All right, I'm gonna make a right and then I wanna make a quick left. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. We're on Dogwood Tree. And then we're gonna make this quick left on Glaze Brook Drive. Make this quick left. Glaze Brook Drive. We got a pickup truck right here with dual leaves. I like that. Power stroke. We got a Honda Accord here with the most gigantic wing I've ever seen on one of those Honda Accords in my life. That job was huge. Let's make a left right here on McLeod. It's spelled M C L E O D. It could be McLeod, but I'm gonna say McLeod. The O side. Of it. We got the little tiny, and cute tree on my right. A little teeny tropical thing coming out of the ground. Looks like it was a newborn seedling. And a gentleman on my left doing some lawn mowing. The sidewalks here, that's cool. Able to walk through the neighborhood. 
So there's a lot of um, items covered over here. I wonder why they're covered. Are they protecting? Oh, look at this this truck on my right. Wow, you see that truck? It got a nice amount of rust on it. Like that, like that. Patina look, what they call it, or whatever you call it. Gives it like that rust look. All right, we're on West Road. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on West Road. Several no outlets coming up on our left hand side. We're gonna try to go through them. Merit. 14,900 block of merit. It's a dead end. No outlets have a circular pile of like grass in the middle, so you can go around. I see no outlets that not have, that, that doesn't have any of that. You just gotta make a U turn, but I think that's cool. Cause if you cause if you got a dog and you wanna walk the dog, you can walk the dog to the middle of that. You know what I mean? Traveling ten miles an hour. so slow in real life <laughs> it may not look slow on camera but believe me it feels like we're just crawling all right so we're back on woodson road now if we go left on woodson on chipman lane that's going to take us away from the no outlets but if we go to the next block there's another no outlet so i have two choices here i can make a left and leave from this little no outlet hate haven or just go straight and take you out through a couple more no outlets i think i'm gonna keep going straight i'm gonna pass chipman the 40 the 14,900 block of chipman you got green ridge missionary baptist church on my right i'm gonna make this left hand turn on this other no outlet dead end ken leah that's the name of the block k-e-n-l-e-a ken leah it's like two first names a guy's name ken and a female's name leah ken leah turn at like six seven miles an hour now we got a vehicle approaching us you got to share the roadway so he probably lives back there it's an older guy check out who's holding up that mailbox it's woodwork Ken Leah and Woodson. Let's make this left hand turn on Woodson. I got another no outlet on my left, and then on my right actually takes us to another part of the neighborhood. So we're gonna go left. Oh, there's a dog right there across the street. Wow, I wonder if that's somebody's dog. You see it across the street? 
to feed them. That's what I'm about to do. Let me make this little U-turn. Let me do this little roundabout, and then I'm gonna see if that dog wants some food. Okay. trees are kind of cool. They're tall, narrow, and cylinder. Kind of like a torpedo. There's another dog across the street. Wow. Look at this dog right here. You got some food? What's up? What's up? You got some food? You got some food? Oh, I look sick. You want some food? Come here, food. Ooh, come here. Come here, eat. Go ahead, go ahead, you can eat. Good boy. Good boy. He he looks really beat up. And he has like a giant tumor on his chest. Let me reverse so that you guys can see him eating. Good boy. Good boy. Wow, he got a huge, I'm talking about like a like a T-ball size, not a baseball, but a T-ball size tumor on his chest. And he looks scraped up. He, he looks like, I don't know if he's abused, if he gets whacked or anything. But that's, that's a shame. At least he got a little meal, you know what I mean? There's another dog across the street. Now I'm curious on if that one needs some help. I'm about to see if this dog needs some help. Because he saw me talk to this one and he's like, hold on, you gave him food and not me food? Yup, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, this one's straight too. This is a female. Let me see if I can help her. Good girl! You want some food? You want some food? Good girl, good Oh, the boy came back for seconds. You saw him? Now the girl's gonna go eat. They're both straight dogs, guys. Oh, they're both eating. That's awesome. We did it, guys. Two beautiful dogs, a boy and a girl. They're probably pals because they were across the street from each other and they're not fighting. But they're both eating, guys. That's the best feeling ever to know that we were able to help some random dogs somewhere in the country. And if we wouldn't have took this cross country journey, then we would have never got a chance to actually see them. You know what I mean? Uh, let me let, let me snap a picture. Good girl, good boy. The, the picture kind of startled them. So let me just leave them eat. Wow, sorry guys. I'm gonna just leave y'all there. But y'all got two nice little piles of food and the boy already had a pile over there. So, job well done, guys. Job well done. He left some of the pile over there, so he got food for days. <laughs> he got food for, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's what's up. At least we was able to help him, you know what I mean? This morning, I was thinking, I'll put my thinking cap on. We have a ba uh, bag of beef food that our dogs don't really um, fancy. They don't really like it too much. It kind of gives them, like, diarrhea and stuff. So we had two two bags of it, and we brought one of the bags. Brand new bag. Brand new bags. Pure balanced dog food. Um, and, yeah, it came in handy, guys. We're at Kirkfield and Woodson. Kirkfield and Woodson. They're still in the street eating. That's cool. I wish I could rescue them. I wish I could rescue them, pick them up, put them inside a, you know, like a vehicle, bring them to a farm, and let them rehabilitate, and then rehome them, and get them to a family that actually, you know, wants to love a dog. 
All right, we're at Wellman and Woodson. On my left, it looks like a no outlet, so I might as well just go through here. Oh, there's another dog over there, but that one has a collar. Yo, what's up with this? There's another dog over there. Guys, it looks like it's chewing on something, right? I'm about to, I'm about to go again, tune to the rescue. I'm about to give him a little bit of dog food. Look at the tropical plants on my left. Awesome, awesome plants. Love them. Oh, look at this Mustang on my left. You see that Mustang right there? Right there on the lawn, the red one? It's covered. Wow, I got Kragers and everything. It looks like it's in really, really, really good shape. And they got a classic truck. I just peeped the classic Chevy truck. <coughs> that person likes vehicles. All right, guys, so let's go to this other no outlet over here, Woodson and Wellman. I wanna see what this dog's up to, if this dog needs a meal. I don't know, because it might be their personal dog. I don't want to offend anybody by feeding their personal dog. You know, some people don't want their personal dog to, to eat food from random sh strangers. Look at that, the dog right there. I'm about to give him some dog food. Bounced. And there's like two, three other dogs that's over here, like little tiny dogs that's barking and making a whole bunch of noise. So I think it probably startled her. But I left the food there, so she ain't gonna eat on anything random. There's food over there, girl. Oh, she's running towards where the food's at. Let's see if she goes to it. Let me, let me see. Nah, she's probably a little, little nerve wracked. She, yeah. she did have a collar on, so I think maybe that collar signified that she does have an owner. Maybe they taught her don't take food from strangers, but it was all in, you know, with good intentions. All right, no more dogs, please. No more dogs. No more dogs. We're doing a tour here. All right, we got a basketball court on the street side. your father, your sister, your niece, your nephew, your dog, punch him. <laughs> I'm probably gonna make a left hand turn here. Um, yeah, let's make a left here. And then we can make a right. Let's make a left here on the 15,100 block of Chipman Lane. Another classic car over here in the driveway. Sweet. And then make this right on Hardwick Road. They're loading up a vehicle on my left-hand side across the street. It looked like they're having trouble loading it because they're jacking it up. I don't know if it fell off the trailer when they were trying to put it up there, but it looks like they're trying to level it out now. A little Saturn onto that pickup truck. It says, drive slowly. We love our children. These restrictions are forced. North. Green Ridge. a kid or something. Let's make this right. This is going to take us right around. I just want to take y'all over here. Yeah, what if, you know, the dogs attack a kid or something, you 
the enemy. That's dangerous. That one dog probably has scars from fighting other dogs. You know what I mean? You never know. It goes to an area where it's a territorial dog and then they start fighting. See, even on the, the address on the left on the ground, right there, boom, a Texas star. If you go back, you'll see 179 at a Texas star on the address. Buckle Lane, Hardwick and Buckle Lane. We got Thompson Elementary School right in front of us. Thompson Elementary School. That's that building right there, that one story wide, long building. Am I right? It's an elementary school. <clears throat> Casa Grande, we're on Casa Grande Drive. And the full name of the school is Evelyn S. Thompson Elementary School. I think that's the first time I've ever heard of a school named after a female. I, I don't hear female names after school. Like, I mean, there was Julia de Burgos, which was a female. But I don't really hear that often. It's usually male names. We got an apartment quadrant on the left. Right, we're at Merritt Lane, Casa Grande, and Merritt Lane. But I'm gonna let you go by because we're uncertain of what turn we want to make. Um, I'm gonna go straight one more block and then make a left. Right, we're gonna make this left hand turn on Imperial. Valley Drive. We got Imperial Food Market over here on my left hand side. You guys may or may not see it when I make this turn. Uh, so make an exaggerated left turn. Let me make an exaggerated left turn so that you guys can actually see me point to it. Boom, it's called an exaggerated left turn. You see? Grocery store right there. Little food market. Ice cold drinks, groceries, milk, bread, novelty, cigarettes, beer, ATM, and more. This little kid walking by the ATM, I mean, walking by the ATM, walking by the store. Let's make this right here. La Fonda. Do we come to this part of La Fonda? Let me make sure. I think we gotta go straight, make a left, come down Goodson Drive, and then come back around. <clears throat> Everything looks pretty much sim similar. Like, they all got similar uh, looks. <clears throat> kids out in neighborhoods anymore. I don't know if it's just me or if it's just this, it, the areas that I'm visiting. <clears throat> but I know in Philly, you go to certain areas, you see like 20 baby kids outside playing. I don't really see a lot of that anymore. And I've been going through places like right before nightfall or in the afternoon or, you know what I mean? Just to give them the benefit out of doubt, but it's by Old Creek Road. Let me make this left-hand turn. I kind of remember that the avalanche right here in front of us because the wheels. Goodson Drive, no outlet on my right, so definitely don't want to go there. Yeah, we went through here because I remember seeing that. Service on our, on our left. <clears throat> D 
speed restriction and forest drive safe. I wonder when they, what they mean when they say that. I've seen that in a few Texas neighborhoods where it says deed restrictions and forest. Is it that they... I've heard something about in Philly that when they sold the houses that there was um, specific rules that had to be followed in the deed for the next homeowner or if you didn't fit a certain requirement they didn't have to sell the house to you or something. So I wonder if that's what it means here. All right. We can keep going through Goodson, right? Yeah, we want to go left. Keep going straight. The Valley Oak Apartments. All right, this is the area with all the apartments. When we first entered the neighborhood, this is the area with all the apartments. <coughs> Let's go up like a block or two and see if we could turn left. Chipman Lane. We're passing the Green Ridge House HOA. That Mercedes Benz has a wing on it. I'm uncertain why. It had like an import wing from Fast and Furious. Dyna Plaza in front of us with a taqueria, Pinky's Nail, Huracan Disco, Asmin's Hair Salon, Washeteria. There's a donut spot on my left and La Banderas on my left. Um, we can go right or we can go left. I think I'm going to go right. We got Ricon Latino on our left. Elementary school on our left. Passing Goodson or Goodson. <laughs> Pupuceria, that was on our right. And La Michoacana on our right. I think we passed all oh, these early easy fun and all that. Bender. 
Austin. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of Spanish names, and my the Spanish um, pronouncing skills aren't that great because they involve accents. Let's make this right on North Freeway. There's a seafood spot on our right, an oyster bar and all that. Ouch. It's just randomly placed in the middle of the road. I swear, sometimes I'll be feeling like the cities of America have a relationship with AutoZones, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, Napa Auto Parts, the dealerships, Pet Boys, and so on. Because some streets be so messed up. It's, it's like... They want your shocks and your suspension to get messed up. So you gotta eventually go to a repair shop or go buy the parts to fix it. Passing Bush International Airport? Was that what that said? That sign? Anyway, we're gonna head to like the mall of the area. There's a mall in the area. I'm just gonna show you guys what the area looks like before we end out the tour. We're at North Sam Houston East Parkway. So Texas has some of the tallest highways that I've seen thus far. As far as height goes, you'd be like 50 feet off of the ground. And they got different um, highway entrances, so they're all different like heights. It's incredible. gas station across the street oh that's why they had the gas things covered they have gas they got a big 18 wheeler in there now um, putting petrol that's probably because they ran out of gas because when we went there earlier um all of the gas pumps were covered with bags i guess because they're out of service we got an ihop restaurant on our left we got an international marketplace on our left this is the mall on our right there's also a cinema a theater oh snap what's this person right here doing on, the, on our left double park in the middle of the road he's talking to some older guy over there you see them tall buildings on my right? Remember I was saying at the beginning of the tour that this seemed more like a downtown area? We got the Tulsa Welding School and Technology Center on our left. International Marketplace on our left. Wendy's on our left. Jack in the Box on our left. Let's make this left hand turn. There's another little neighborhood that's right here, which is bordering the Greater Greens Point neighborhood. However, it's outside just by one block of the greater greens point neighborhood see right now we're at greens point drive let's make a left i'm gonna end this tour out with these blocks over here now as i said they're right on the borderline of greater greens point so you know some people might beg to defer and say tune that those blocks at the end of the video were not greater greens point but yeah we got a bank of america on my left hand side we got a McDonald's next to us, too. All right, we're going to make this left-hand turn. Now we got Greens Point Dental on our left-hand side. We got Monterey's Little Mexico on our right. Now hiring. Cook starting at $12 an hour. Uh, we can make up to what? We can earn up to $750,000. Did it say $750,000? What did it say? Seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's a thousand. What weekly? Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars weekly. Okay. 
750 bucks weekly. So bi-weekly, you're looking like 1,500 bucks maybe. All right, so we're gonna make this right-hand turn on Abney Drive. So we got Joy Circle over here on my left-hand side. So no outlet, should we go through it? Just so y'all can see it since we've been in the spirit of going through no outlets. See, this is one of the little circles that doesn't have a green patch in the middle. Remember earlier I was saying that some of them have green patches and some of them don't. I like the ones with the green patches. I think that's cool. Even though these actually provide a lot of space for kids to play. Like you can play kickball, you, know, you can play soccer, you can play tag, you can play all that stuff. Yeah, we're right here on the edge of the neighborhood. Um, we're gonna make this left-hand turn. in front of us looks like an industrial area regional water authority on our right you got a, a house with tons of solar panels on the roof do any of my viewers have solar technology if so <clears throat> does it pay itself off like has it been paying itself off if you don't mind me asking how many panels do you have roughly how much was the system you don't gotta tell me the exact price, but you can say two. I got, you know, 20 panels for around, you know, the system was $30,000 or 25,000 or 15,000 or whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm just curious. <clears throat> what did say? She wants to drive right through us. <laughs> she was driving straight to us. I'm like, uh-oh. Outlet on my right. We're gonna continue traveling straight. Oh, the same dog. Yo, this is the same dog from earlier. I fed this this dog this morning. This is the one at the beginning of the story that I told you that I had fed a random dog that he was kind of scared and I left the food right here on the floor. And he's still running the streets. You yo, you ate your food, buddy? What's up? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? What's up? You want some more food? You want some more food? You want some more food? He running right in front of the thing. You, you, you want some more food? You want food? Yeah? No? No? You cool? All right then, buddy. At least I'll try. He kept running. He's stopping. He's looking at us. I'm about to leave him another plate of food. Yeah, I'm going to stop right here and leave him another plate of food. You want some food? Drop some food right there for him. I'm gonna reverse to see if he actually. Cause I think he's probably scared. Cause it seems like the other food that I left him disappeared, so he obviously ate it. Good boy. Good boy. You look like a good boy. Good. There's food over there, buddy. Yo, he straight up just sat there. He sat down. Look at him. Hold on. Let me point the vehicle to him. He just sat down. Look at him. He don't have a collar on or anything. I'm gonna throw him a couple pieces. Maybe he'll understand what I put down. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes, go eat, buddy, go eat. I'm gonna throw a piece of food. Food, you scared? Let 
you try to throw him some pieces of food. Uh, don't don't run. All right, all right, dude. I'm out. I'm I'm out. Hey, the food, buddy. I just threw the food. It's cool. He'll end up running back. He'll he'll eat it because there was another pile of food there that I had left, and obviously it's gone. So he ate it. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we just reached our one-hour mark. This is a short driving tour of the Greater Greens Point neighborhood. We did not cover the whole entire Greater Greens Point neighborhood. It's not enough time in an hour to do so. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your support. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think of the neighborhood, you know? Even if I hit one block of the Greater Greens Point neighborhood, then I guess job well done. Mission accomplished. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. This is your homeboy, Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. My name is Tune B. Chillin', and I'm tuning up.